Hey guys, so welcome back to another video and today I'm going to teach you how to make Twitch panels that will go along with this very uh, Twitch overlay that I taught you how to make in the last video. So it's going to be super easy and super quick and I'm going to do it all in one canvas so you can have the PSD file at the very end um, in the description and it's going to be free to download. So all you have to do is to get started is obviously make a new canvas size. Um, canvas and what we're going to size it as is 320 by 120. Obviously you don't need to go exactly by this but this is what I'm going by and uh, if you want to follow the video along pretty easily then this is what you're going to go with. Uh, you're going to come up with this and obviously that's not going to be a big problem. All you're going to have to do is hit P for your pen tool and you can also just click the little pen tool above the text tool here and what we're going to do is we're going to make a little bit of a slant similar to what we had here but um, we're gonna make them go in both the same direction on both sides instead of going in opposite directions so what we're going to do is just uh, figure something out and that looks about right so all we now with that figured out all we have to do is click sh hold shift on your keyboard to make a straight line make a straight line that's probably a bit too high um, if you can't get the straight line you can always do the excess method which you make a straight line above over and back down and then you can use the rectangle marquee tool to cut out the extra but since I managed to get a straight line I'm just gonna go with it I'm going to fill this path with my foreground color which is that dark gray that we probably used earlier and we have this so now all we have to do is with this layer selected we're going to hit ctrl j to duplicate it and then ctrl t and we're going to flip horizontal and then flip vertical so now they go in the same direction on both ends you can make it as long as you want as long as you know you have transparent space around it um, because you'll save it as a png file which gives you this transparency and you can upload it so there's no background to it uh, but i think this looks about good with me so all you have to do is to merge these two so you can keep track of it easier so select both layers hit ctrl e if you're on windows and you have this so i'll just call it main bar or just main i'm going to ctrl a and then center it in case it's not already centered it's pretty much centered so i'm all good now we're just going to do those little accents on the edge but first um, so we can align it perfectly. We're just going to give it that green stroke is before as usual I'm going to keep it on the inside instead of the outside where it rounds the edges and I'm gonna have it at four pixels of that same green and I hit ok and now we're ready to make those edges so what we'll do is we'll make a new layer and then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit don't worry about pixelation it's fine unless you can't handle it I well I don't I don't know what to tell you but Basically, uh, with this layer selected, we're going to do that same thing that you learned in the last video. Um, and hopefully, you know, you actually learned something. And you're going to, when you're doing this one and you click down, you're going to hold shift and you're going to drag it horizontally. And it's going to give you, a, give you a very 180 degree straight line um, down. And that's great. And then you're going to hold shift and you're going to click it here I managed to get a very straight line at the bottom if not it's okay you can always like do that same thing where you erase or you cut it out and with this layer selected make sure it's on your free layer because you don't want to do it on your main uh, you fill in your path with I guess the background color since it's that's what it is and now you can just move it down here um, it's entirely up to you if you want to actually do it only on opposite ends or you want to do it on all ends but I'm going to do it on all ends, so let me just say this is the top right. Now I can just flip this vertically, and I can shift this over here. Uh, that looks about right. Now we can group these two together, so just control G it, and make it a group, say this is the right side, and then you control J this group, and this is going to be the left side. You can rename the ones on, the, on this if you want. This will be um, whatever, but first we have to actually flip it so you have to control T on this group and you can f you have to flip it horizontally once and then flip vertically so it's going in the right direction and you just shift it around a little that's perfect so this is the top left I think is it no this is yeah this is the top left and that's the bottom left um, I realize this is a mistake I didn't 
fix that. Alright, so that's pretty much done. You have the main problem, well, well not, you just have the main, uh, uh, what's it called? The foundation done. So what you can do to have that similar pattern that we had on this, which might be a little bit difficult, to see, but as you can tell there's a pattern, we're going to take that same texture we got on Visual's 2K resource pack and we're going to bring it over. And now we just have to make that clipping mask, so right click, create clipping mask or hold alt uh, between these two layers, you'll see this little icon with the square and arrow and you get this. Now, now all you just have to do is change it, I'm probably going to do... I'll do linear dodge and then I'll lower it to 50% or lower, depends on how obvious you want it to show through on this layer. Uh, that looks good to me. And all that's left now is adding the text. So I'm just going to use that same higher font. So this font, as you can tell, uh, I'll just do the about me and we're going to center it. So we're going to hold control on top of this little rectangle where the main is. And then with your text selected, you will center it. Um, that's perfect. It looks fine with me. I think that's the good font size and I like the spacing. You can always change it in the characters panel with the uh, spacing if you want it to be closer or you want it to be farther away. I like it where it is at the farther away point and you're pretty much done. But if you'd like, I have to add a bit of a drop shadow, a solid drop shadow. Oh, and it's done for me, but not in the right direction. Okay, so basically I'm going to take the color that I've been using, uh, the green, and I'll put it on 100% opacity with blend mode on normal. And with my distance, I can adjust it a little bit. I think I like it on two. And the angle, you can move it around how you want. I think I like it where it's a little close to that. Or you can do it directly on 90. I like 90. So I might want to shift it up a little bit so it's equal um, distance on both ends. But pretty much that's it. Now all you have to do is group all of this together at once. So um, hold shift from the top to bottom uh, layer, the entire thing, and just say call it about me. Now what you can do is you can take this group, you can duplicate it by pressing Control J, and you can just simply change the font now. So it'll just go along with the, f oh, that's not how you spell schedule. It'll go along with the entire settings. Uh, all you have to do is make sure it's centered and aligned and change the text. So I'm just going to click on this and go through it. And I'm just going to speed this portion up because it's, uh, it's going to get a little boring and you probably don't want to see me going through with everything. So basically I'm done. I made nine panels all in one. All I did was duplicate each of them and then change the text, make sure it's aligned. Um, so now all you have to do is hide them all and then unhide one of them. You save it as a PNG with transparency um, available and you do it for each one basically and you're done. And then you just upload it onto Twitch and that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this easy to follow and hopefully I wasn't speaking too quickly or getting you lost in the process. But now, as long as you use both of these together, you can basically have a very sleek and consistent theme throughout all your Twitch design. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, whatever, share the video if you want to. Uh, all the links for downloads will be in the description below as well as my website and whatever if you'd like some custom made stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.